Sports. Fox 31's Courtney Fromm joins us with the ongoing investigation. Courtney. Joshua and Shaw, we just heard from police that investigators are still not allowed back in this third story apartment. That's where those five people were found dead tonight. Now, the hazmat team is actually still out here trying to make a sweep inside the apartment before investigators are allowed back inside just in case there's hazardous, hazardous substances that could harm police going in. If it is going to be illicit drugs, they were very, very bad. No one was able to get to a phone and call 911 for a medical emergency, so it happened pretty quickly. Speculation on my part. Commerce City Police Chief Clint Nichols relaying details from a medical call for help that led first responders to find seven people, including a baby, all believed to be unconscious inside an apartment in Commerce City. I saw um, some people crying and screaming. Five of those adults found dead. There were three females and two males. Commerce City Police. There does not appear to be any blunt trauma or any violent incident of any nature. Along with South Adams County fire crews quickly ruling out causes. The fire department came out and did a test for hazardous gas and that test proved to be negative. The chief confirming there were substances found inside the apartment, but not speculating what types of drugs or if that's what killed the five victims. I don't know exactly what the substance is until the chemistry labs has had an opportunity to take a look at that. Again, there were some substances that could be described as illicit narcotics. Thankfully tonight, the four month old baby found alive is doing OK, but the chief knows the sobering reality. I hope the parents were not in there, but I've been doing this long enough. I would probably be safe to suggest that the parents probably were inside and so for the infant. Yeah, that, that's going to be a long time without parents. I mean, my heart goes out to them and um... This is really sucks. That's all I can say. This really sucks. Absolutely heartbreaking. Now, we do understand the adult that was found alive is talking with police tonight. Of course, when more information becomes available, we'll keep you updated here on KDVR and KDVR.com. Live in Commerce City, Courtney from Fox 31. Yes, yeah, so sad. And also